Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe and also join the family and follow me on Instagram because we have a lot of fun in there as well. Okay guys, so this video is a very difficult one but I promise to do it because this is a tag created by my gorgeous gorgeous friend here on YouTube, Moon Perfumes. If you don't follow her already, Please do, she's absolutely fantastic perfume reviewer. I really, really love hearing her thoughts on very, very good fragrances. She has great taste, so I'm sure you can learn a lot from her. So, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to my 10 perfumes for life, which are five designer and five niche fragrances. So, guys, I'll be honest, this uh, tag actually came right in time for me because if you don't already know... So I'm moving to South Africa from Poland and currently we are at my mom's house um, where we are basically quarantining. And uh, to be honest guys, I was really really hopeful that this um, whole move will go smoothly but it didn't and in the end, long story short, I will not be able to travel with all my fragrances so I really do actually have to choose my perfumes for life and this will not be 100 perfumes this will be around 20, 30, we'll see but I think 30 tops so these 10 are the ones that I was like no I need to have them I need to take them no matter what happens some of them even I took backups off and this was for sacrificing another perfume, a completely different scent that I could have and I could have two perfumes but no, I prefer to have a backup. So let's move on. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with Niche and uh, the first fragrance that I want to share with you is the only oud that I would leave in my collection. Uh, basically, I could get rid of all the ouds that I have and only have this one. This is how much I love it, even though this is a newer fragrance in my collection. I know it's gonna be a staple. And uh, this is none other than Francis Coulé Jean Oud Satin Mood. I adore this fragrance. I just adore this fragrance. Love it. Love it. Um, this is a very gorgeous sweet take on the oud. This is not a bitter oud. It's a very smooth, feminine, sweet, sweet oud uh, with a blend of vanilla, benzoin, violet, uh, which gives it a little bit of a powderiness. And then on top of that, you have the straight up rose oud combination throughout the whole fragrance so you still get best of the both worlds you know the typical oud rose combination but done differently sweeter more feminine in my opinion uh, i'm sure a guy can pull this off but i honestly would rather have it on myself than my partner so that's oud satin mood and this would be the only oud that i would keep in my collection when it comes to niche fragrances and actually designer as well so that's the first fragrance now um, moving on to the other side of the spectrum, we need something very smooth and feminine and girly and clean and nice and just beautiful. So I think um, that I'm not going to be very unique here and I'm just going to go with Delina by Parfums de Mali just because this is a fresh rose done again very uniquely and very very feminine and this is something that I could wear to basically any occasion which if you know me already I might need because we um, we move around the diplomatic and legal field so you know we have a lot of events to attend to so the Lena would be perfect for that if I have a day event you know so that would be that and this is my second fragrance from the niche the third one. Guys, I really don't know if I can actually consider it niche, but um, this is quite a unique brand. It's not very popular. This is not your typical over-the-counter at Sephora kind of fragrance. So I guess it can be called a niche. Uh, this is a brand from Dubai and uh, this is the brand called Razazi. And the perfume I'm talking about is Jasmine Wisp. 
This is a fruit absolute of sexiness. Super sexy. It has a fruit punch and then it has coconut, it has vanilla, it has oriental woods in it, it has vanilla, gorgeous scent. Amber. It is, uh, I wouldn't say it's fresh because it's very, very sweet, uh, but it's fruity, you know, it's definitely fruity uh, in a very sophisticated, feminine way. And what I have to say about this fragrance is that it is mm, so strong. Like, so strong. This is a powerhouse of a fragrance. Anywhere I go, I get asked of what I'm wearing. Uh, to the point that I would be in a restaurant and the waitress would literally run out after me when I left and she would ask me what I'm wearing because she got obsessed. So, this is a massive compliment getter. I feel like everybody loves it. No matter the age, no matter the ethnicity, nothing. Just It's just good. It is just good of a fruity fragrance. Even though you might not be a massive fruit lover, you still might like it because it's a very warm amber uh, with a little bit of an woody undertone, even though wood is not listed here. I would think there might be a little bit of an oud, but in general it's a coconut, fr uh, fruity, very ambery vanilla bomb. So that's my third fragrance if I want something very playful, um, very intense, very in your face, I would definitely go with Razazi. Actually, anytime I feel like I need like a powerhouse of a fragrance, I go with Razazi. This is my go-to when I want to make sure that I smell great all night and everyone can smell me. That's, that's great. All right. Now, um, I don't think I could make a video like that without this brand, which is Killian. Uh, you already know that I absolutely love it. And to be honest, the quality of the fragrance, um, the ingredients, the story behind the house is just absolutely fantastic to me. In my opinion, if you don't have it, if you don't own it, if you don't wear it, and I mean like any fragrance from Killian, you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? You just have to experience the whole thing. So my favorite and the fragrance that I would not get rid of, I, I just cannot live without it, is of course Love Don't Be Shy. This is one of the most unique gourmands on the market. And, you know, to be honest, I hope that the hype gets out and Rihanna stops to wear it and everybody obsessed with Rihanna stops to wear it and there will be only me wearing it. That's how much I love it and that's how I want it to be so unique to me, you know? Uh, so this is a marshmallow honeysuckle fragrance. Very, very sweet but in a very unique way. You definitely get a lot of honeysuckle in here. And that marshmallow is definitely feminine. To me, there's nothing unisex about it. I, I kind of would cringe if my man would smell like that, to be honest, because it's that girly. Uh, but at the same time, it's very strong. It's very, very elevated, elegant, um, at the same time being playful. So, you know, it's another scent that's perfect for any occasion. So, love, don't be shy. I could not get rid of this fragrance and if you don't know already I have backups of it already in my men's suitcase so I love you I love you okay <laughs> enough of a romance but there are two left that I absolutely love even though I was kind of struggling with picking uh, the niche fragrance that I would not get rid of because um, both brands are the ones that I just love all of the fragrances that I have, but I have to choose because of Moon. I see you. Um, so the first one I want to show you, I just decided that I need something sexy and stronger and something a little bit more winter appropriate, sweet. So I went with Montal Intense Cafe. And this is a fragrance that I fell in love with as soon as I got it. I, it was a blind buy recommended by you guys, my subscribers. I love you so much. Thank you for recommending this to me. This was my uh, first Montal fragrance as well, actually. I bought it last year. 
early early last year if not the year before I don't know but anyways I've had it for a while this is my second bottle and I already have another backup this is how much I love it um, so Montal is another powerhouse of a fragrance this is the longevity and ciliar that you cannot get rid of throughout the day um, and this particular fragrance is coffee vanilla rose and some precious woods in the dry down but not too much it's definitely on the feminine side even though I think some men can pull this off um, the coffee note to me is quite strong in here along with the rose and vanilla I love this fragrance I don't even have to spray this I can smell it from the bottle very very good one even though I don't really like the bottle actually I was shitting so much to you on these bottles of Montals because I have a lot of them and these are the bottles that just saved me saved me when it comes to packing because they they literally don't weigh anything like they're so light so I could pack all my Montal fragrances now I I just feel so bad that I was so rough with those bottles so yeah very travel friendly that that's what I have to say and I just love the fragrance and honestly I would like put all the Montals in here if I could in those top five of niche but I could choose only one so Intense Cafe is the one that I chose because it it's my first one and I have sentiment last but definitely not least guys if you don't know already at first I was a little bit disappointed with the fragrance then I got obsessed, even though I have so many dupes and I received so many dupes from the brands that I started working with. I just couldn't resist because in all honesty, I still feel like um, the original is the best one. Uh, there is nothing you can compare it to the juice that it has, the original. And I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Le Baccarat Rouge 540 by Francis Courdijan and I already have two bottles this is how crazy I am about the scent um, this one is the one that I'm currently using and I probably will take it on the flight with me in the carry-on and this one is going to the big suitcase and uh, out of all the uh, dupes and the uh, extrait de parfum which I already also have I feel like the original is still the best the eau de parfum just has something in it that is so intoxicating and honestly you don't need anything else just get the original just go and get the original if you can if you, do, if you can't splurge on a fragrance like that I would just go for it it's beautiful it's just beautiful I absolutely love it so this one is definitely staying so we have two Francis Cool Dijon's one performs the Mali one Killian which I cry about because I love so many again but yeah Montau and of course Razazi I hope you can accept it as a niche because to me it's quite you know hard to get quite hard to get of one all right so now we can move on to designer and I'm sure that this is a category that so many of you have been waiting for. So here it is and I'm gonna start with my all-time staple throughout the years. There's nothing new about it, you already know what I'm gonna say, my alien. And of course I went with the original, no matter how beautiful the flankers are. Uh, I think I have almost all the flankers the stronger ones. I mean like every flanker that is the Eau de Parfum I do own along with some Eau de Toilette. So you know I'm very experienced when it comes to aliens but I still think that the original is something that cannot be copied, it cannot be replaced and I would be very very sad if I didn't have it and I experienced myself craving it when I was packing and I had to choose which perfumes are staying, which are not. And this was the bottle that I put backups off into the suitcase. Even though I can get it in South Africa, I feel like it, it was just so hard to part ways with it. This is a gorgeous, indolic jasmine, very strong jasmine, super sexy one with amber and woods. And there's nothing much to it. 
gorgeous blend. To me, it has a little bit of a Marsepony beginning. It always had, uh, especially before it was reformulated, you know? I love it. I love smelling like it. It leaves a trail. It's beautiful. It's potent. To me, it's perfect for any occasion, maybe except the strong heat, obviously. But other than that, Alien is my go-to. Okay, speaking of heat, I have to mention some citrus because I would die without a citrus. And, you know, I love my citruses. This was another very hard choice. But again, as I was packing, this was the one that I was like, no, 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 no. This one has to go. And my oldie, but a goodie, light blue eau antons. Not the eau de toilette, eau antons. This is a green apple with citruses, with a lot of lemon, uh, and a very sweet yet masky dry down. Beautiful, just beautiful, perfect citrus fragrance for summer. To me, the longevity on this one is very, very decent. Mm, definitely one of the longest lasting citruses of mine that I own, because on me it lasts like seven, eight hours for sure. So I love it, I love you, you're staying. All right, citrus is done, even though I would pack here so many others, but okay. Okay, now I'm gonna mention a fragrance that my partner would kill me if I didn't, and I just have to have it. Mm, or I just have to change the boyfriend, but I don't want to, so I'm gonna mention the fragrance. So, Lavelle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Beautiful fragrance, very feminine, very sweet. It's vanilla with pear and vetiver. I adore the vetiver in here. Let me just spray some. Hmm, very, very strong fragrance. Uh, actually, there is no fragrance that is not a powerhouse in here. All of them are super, super strong in your face and long lasting. And this is no exception. I already told you how it smells like, but I'm gonna say again, it's a beautiful pear with vanilla, a little bit powdery, a little bit zingy, zesty in the beginning. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, and my man loves it too. So, officially we have only two fragrances left, so I'm gonna go with the one that is like a no doubt, surely I'm gonna keep it, and this is Olympia. Uh, of course, I love Olympia Intense just as much, and this is gonna be very, very hard to part ways with any of them, but for the purpose of this video, of course, I couldn't include both of them because I would be crazy, like two Olympias, come on. So I'm just gonna go with the original and I have two bottles of it in my suitcase. One with my partner's suitcase and one with my own suitcase. So this is how much I love it. I would never pipe waves with it. This is a gorgeous salty vanilla with a little bit of a white floral opening with a little bit of an aquatic undertone. Very strong, very long lasting. I absolutely adore this fragrance. For a salty vanilla, there is nothing better on the market, designer or niche in my opinion. Considering it's Paco Rabanne, it's even more like wow, you know, because Paco Rabanne, let's be honest, they do not have like the best quality fragrances. But Olympia is the gem, is the gem, along with Olympia Intense. I would just put them together in here, but yeah. Olympia is on my number four spot for designer. And now, um, one fragrance that I have here is like my trusty oldie but a goodie, always have it, always with me. And one is a newer addition to my collection, but it's just so intoxicating. So, so beautiful um, that I can, I just really cannot choose. To be honest, maybe I would kick Olympia. No, not Olympia. I would kick La Belle out for the sake of this one. Uh, no judgment, but I absolutely love Princess by Killian. This is actually a new box because the bottle that I've been already using is somewhere in the suitcase and I, for, for the life of me, I cannot find it. Um, it's just packed away. Uh, so this is a new bottle that I'm also taking with me. And again, this is the fragrance... <coughs> Sorry. This is the fragrance that I would not live without. As soon as I got it, I was like, yes, yes, this is it. 
<laughs> this is another marshmallow, but this is a fresher marshmallow with some ginger, with matcha tea. Beautiful fragrance. Um, it, it really is a safe blind buy if you like sweeter fragrances. You're gonna love it. Projection Longevity Beautiful on me. It lasts all day. I get so many compliments when I wear it. And now, if I didn't have it, uh, I would go for Poison Girl by Dior. Again, I would probably kick this one out for the sake of this. But I'm torn. I'm really torn. So I'm giving myself one or the other of an option. Maybe you can help me in the comments, which one would you choose, La Belle or Poison Girl? Because I love them both. I just love them both. Um, I really cannot get rid of any of them. Probably when it comes to my personal taste, I will go with um, this one. But uh, I know that my boyfriend absolutely loves La Belle. So it's a hard choice, guys. It's a hard choice. For me, this one would be in my top five definitely because it gives me still the hints of hypnotic poison which i also love and wanted to mention here uh, but it still gives me something else you know it's like the best of both worlds hypnotic poison mostly can be used in like colder weather because it's very heavy uh, this one can be used in summertime as well especially at night so you know it gives me more versatility and this used to be my signature scent for a long, long time, for years actually. So people really know me for it. So yeah, I think Poison Girl instead of La Belle, guys. Now that I think of it, I think I'll go with Poison Girl, to be honest. And Princess by Killian. I know that Killian is considered a niche brand, and I'm kind of cheating here, because I put Love Don't Be Shy in my niche fragrances but this actually is the over-the-counter Sephora range of Killian so I'm guessing this can be considered designer if it cannot be considered designer consider me picking La Belle that's all I can say guys it's so hard it's so hard okay so to sum up very quickly we have Oud Satin Wood by Courtesan Delina by Parfums de Mali, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, Jasmine Wisp by Razazi, and Montal Intense Cafe. And that's niche, along with Maison Francis Courdujan Baccarat Rouge, of course. So that's my top five from the niche. And now, from my designer, Oldie but a goodie alien, another Oldie but a goodie, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O & Tons, Olympia by Paco Rabanne, cannot go without it, my signature scent always was, always will be. Princess by Killian, beautiful marshmallow scent, um, perfect for summer and winter. And Poison Girl by Dior, beautiful, sexy, tonka, vanilla, long-lasting fragrance with a lot of rose in it as well. Apparently, guys, now that I see it, I like rose a lot. I like Rosa Rot, which is very weird for me because I never thought I'm that of a rose lover, but mainly it's mixed with vanilla, so maybe that's why. Okay, that's it. I know it was a struggle, guys. I really had a hard time choosing between these three, but here you have it. My top 10, five niche and five designer. This is what I would choose for my life to use. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below. What are your top 10 five niche and five designer for life? And see you guys in the next video. Bye.